so hello hello YouTube uh, I know you were be, you were waiting patiently for some new video uh, for my adventures on Honda CRF uh, 300L so I'm doing now video on my mobile phone so apologies for the sound quality but uh, the reason I'm doing it on my mobile phone is because two batteries on my Akaso were discharged and why were they discharged? Because today we made around 80 miles of riding with a TRF, uh, which is a, a trail riding federation in the UK. So today we were exploring uh, Yorkshire Dales. So a member of uh, West Yorkshire TRF and also Peak uh, District. Uh, so today it was West Yorkshire around six and a half hours riding in all kinds of condition. Uh, majority of that was uh, terrain and some of that was really hard terrain. Some new battle scars on my ten uh, sorry, tenery on my Honda. One, two, uh, not much more, which I'm quite pleased with. I have to say that the plastic engine guard or bash plate did do its job. Uh, there were, as you can see, some scratches here and there were a lot of rocks. Can you see that area there? A lot of rocks. I could hear the rocks pumping into it. Uh, and it really did an uh, excellent job. Uh, I have to say that the quad lock system uh, that I ordered uh, for the ride was really performing well. I've got the quad lock handlebar mounting. I've got a dampener to damp the vibration. And I've got a wireless uh, charging, which is excellent because during the ride, my battery was always fully charged and I had no worries that uh, my battery will die and I will have issues uh, with finding the way back. So as you can see, I finally managed to get the proper pro taper mounts. Uh, for my bike, uh, so hence I could fit the pro taper cushion, protection cushion, and my remote uh, for uh, uh, remote for my Akaso camera. So let's summarize uh, today's rigorous ride: uh, the good, the bad, uh, and uh, whatever, uh, and my impression. So uh, the good thing is the engine, yeah. I, it was tractoring, uh, basically second gear, third gear, fourth gear, uh, on the plains on the top of the hills where you have the really, really, you know, like field rocks and so on, fourth gear, you know, on the rocks. It was just pulling all the way, so it was brilliant. I, I, I love the torque of it. I think I, I, I was even starting uh, in second gear. I think I used the first gear only once in a difficult terrain and that was because uh, we opened the gate and the gate was really really right after the gate was already in the rocky terrain and steep and behind it so i didn't have time to uh, start with the first gear and then put the second gear or study the second gear i went with the first gear and i was revving it up which wasn't that great because the engine has so much torque that actually it was lifting the front wheel so, uh, but majority of it is just second gear, uh, pulling it up the hill. The, that's, that's still the grade here. Uh, so the engine, the everything, how it performs, started every time. Uh, the butt, yeah, the butt is uh, the suspension. Yeah, so the su suspension is quite soft and, and uh, you know that if you looked for the videos, you know that the susp suspension is soft. Uh, it managed uh, everything I needed today. The challenge was that uh, because the suspension was soft and there were some really tall bumps, I had to compensate a lot with my legs, which eventually means that I got uh, tired and uh, uh, I basically uh, was starting to get cramps into my legs. But the other reason was that I've never had this long off-road riding. So eventually I'm not used to that kind of uh, off-road riding, but it was excellent. We were six guys together, uh, as it's allowed. The motorbikes, yeah, so there was Husqvarna 300, 
Uh, there was KTM uh, seven days, I believe, or six days, one of those. Uh, there was a uh, uh, Yamaha VR 250, uh, and there was a, a Beta. I don't know what size of that was, and uh, there was a, I believe, Yamaha XT 250. Yeah, all excellent bikes. So, uh, and, and obviously my Honda. And uh, you, that just shows you, you know, the variety that basically everyone was uh, riding different bikes, and we all had fun. Yeah, the guys were really excellent and uh really pleasant uh pleasantly spent uh six hours six and a half hours they were waiting for me when he did you know they pre-warned me if there was some dangerous paths uh really really nice nice guys i really enjoyed it uh so uh the second bad thing but that's not a honda directly and it's also honda uh my suspension sorry the handlebars are still not tall enough so essentially i need to get a Tall handlebar risers uh, because when I'm standing on this motorbike, it still it still is uh, it still is uh, too too low for me. Uh, so I, I even twisted the um, handlebars to the front uh, to give them with the, with the shapes they have to put them a little bit higher. Uh, it still wasn't enough for me. Uh, but yeah, all the things, just the suspension and uh, the handlebar higher. And, and the bike is brilliant, yeah, which, you know, I, yeah, I dropped it once, uh, which again, thanks to the weight of the bike, it was easy to pick it up. Uh, and the tires are still performing okay, yeah, so uh, I didn't have a situation where I would say, oh, I would be better off with some uh, TKC80 or something, some other tires, yeah, the stock tires are doing well, and I think... But I'll give it, so I've got now just 600 miles, so which will be for the first service. And I can see that today's ride gave my uh, knobs uh, a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit work to do. But I believe probably 1,500 miles and uh, the tires probably will have to be swapped anyway. So, so no point swapping them now, I will just use them as, as they are. And, uh, and that will be brilliant. Good, so thank you very much, uh, everyone, for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, so I, I recorded a video of the ride today, so I definitely will be sharing that with you, and so you can, so you can enjoy, enjoy the ride and uh, learn from my mistakes and learn from maybe things that I'm doing right. So take care.